Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Welcome to another episode of Addicts Editions. The signings are finally starting to come in thick and fast and our squad is starting to take a little bit of shape as we head back to training and we edge closer to our pre-season friendlies. Today, Charlton confirmed our third signing of the summer window and it certainly is an interesting one. Charlton Athletic have completed the permanent signing of Sunderland midfielder George Dobson. The 23-year-old joins the club on a two-year contract and arrives in SE7 as our third summer signing following the arrivals of striker Jaden Stockley and goalkeeper Craig McGillivray. And as I said, it has certainly divided opinions, with Charlton fans seemingly very happy with this signing, whereas Sunderland fans are also very happy, but they are happy about him leaving the club and don't really have many, if any, good words to say about Dobson. So we will discuss all of that in today's video. As ever, we will read the club's article, find out what Dobson, Nigel Adkins and Thomas Sangard have to say, and then we'll get into my thoughts about the signing and what Sunderland fans have said. Charlton Athletic are pleased to confirm the permanent signing of midfielder George Dobson. The talented 23-year-old has signed a two-year deal with the Addicts. The midfielder was earmarked as a key sign-in for Charlton while playing an important part in AFC Wimbledon's strong second half of the 2020-21 season, appearing in 21 games during a very impressive loan spell at the club. After putting pen to paper at the Valley, Dobson said, I'm delighted. The size of the club, the manager, the fans, it has everything, really. When I found out about the interest, it was something that really intrigued and interested me. Then, obviously, once you have the conversation and find out the manager's aspirations for you, it was a no-brainer. I'm delighted to be here and really can't wait to get started. Manager Nigel Adkins has said previously he wants to bring younger players to the Valley. He said, I am pleased George becomes another signing for us. He has a reputation as a combative midfield player, so I'm looking forward to working with him. Dobson becomes the third signing of the summer transfer window following the arrivals of Jaden Stockley and Craig McGillivray. Owner Thomas Sangard explained he is happy to see the Addicts continue to build the squad in line with the club's strategy. He said, George is a player our recruitment team have been looking at very closely and highlighted as one of our priorities. He is a talented midfielder who, despite his young age, has a wealth of experience at this level, so I'm really pleased we've been able to welcome him to the Valley. Dobson is a former West Ham United under-21s captain who shone in League One at Walsall earning him a move to Sunderland before joining AFC Wimbledon on loan in January. He has already played 139 games in League One and has also played five Eredivisie games for Sparta Rotterdam during the 2017 18 season. Now it is time to get into my thoughts about the signing and have a bit of a discussion about what people have been saying. Now, Dobson has of course joined the club on a two year contract and it is a free transfer. Now, Dobson did have a year left on his contract at Sunderland, but as it was announced by the Black Cats, he had left the club by mutual consent. So his contract was terminated, ripped up. He has now landed a move at Charlton on a free transfer. Now, after reading our club's statement, there are two things that strike me straight away and I do have to pick out. And the first of which is the length of the contract, a two-year deal. Like Craig McGillivray, he has signed only a two-year contract, which I am a little bit disappointed with, especially considering the fact that Dobson is still very young. He's only 23, and I would have expected him to sign a much longer deal, but he has ended up on the same contract as McGillivray, a two-year deal, which, as I say, I'm a little bit disappointed with, but like what I said in the previous video about McGillivray coming in, the fact that he's here anyway is good enough. And the second thing, and probably the most interesting thing, is the fact that he was a priority target, this transfer window. He was one of our main priorities in this transfer window, which is interesting. It is very interesting to see that George Dobson was one of our main priorities, this transfer window. And I can guarantee you right now that there are Sunderland fans on the other end of this video that are absolutely pissing themselves about the fact that he was one of our priority targets. They seem to be very pleased that he has gone and they have also been very quick to say that oh, he's one of the worst players we've ever seen. He's absolutely garbage. And to be honest with you, personally, I take that with a pinch of salt because the last time Sunderland fans said this, when Charlton signed a player, that of course being Adam Matthews, he turned out to be decent, didn't he? He turned out to be half decent. As a matter of fact, I think he's been one of our most consistent performers over the past two seasons. So when Sunderland fans say that, oh yeah, he's rubbish... I take that with a bit of a pinch of salt, and especially in this case of George Dobson, because in George's case, I see it as 
he made the wrong move at the wrong time in his career. He made the wrong move way too early. When he joined Sunderland in 2019, he was, what, 20, 21, maybe 22, and had just come off the back of a pretty decent spell at Walsall. As a matter of fact, he was their captain. And that is one thing that already strikes to me. He's a leader. He is a leader on that pitch. And, and like I say, at a young age, it's absolutely fantastic. You know, it's brilliant to hear that, you know, he's captain the League One side at such a young age. He's a leader and can definitely offer something in the middle of that pitch. He obviously made the move to Sunderland where it is pretty safe to say where he didn't really have the best of times and it didn't work out. As I say, if you look on social media, Sunderland fans are very happy to see him go. The way I see it, you kind of have to say like, it didn't really fit the system and it, the move didn't really work for him, but he could definitely work in a different system. And that is certainly what happened at the back end of last season when he made the move to AFC Wimbledon on loan. And Wimbledon fans have spoken very highly of him. He proved that he can be a decent player and was a influential and key figure to them staying up last season. So, I mean, Sunderland fans can disagree with me and they can call me an idiot if they want in the comments below if I'm absolutely, if I'm chatting absolute nonsense. But the way I see it is that he didn't really fit the system he made the wrong move way too early in his career. Obviously, he had a great spur of Walsall and then has seen an opportunity to play for a massive club and it hasn't worked. I do believe he is a good player at this level and that obviously is proven from his time at Walsall and AFC Wimbledon. And if you look at it on paper, for a Cholton perspective, for Cholton signing him, he ticks all the boxes for us, in my opinion. He's a young player for a start at 23. He's a leader, obviously a previous captain of a team at, at age 20, 21, which is exactly what you need. Despite his young age, he is actually very experienced in this league, having played 139 games already in League One. So that, again, is another box ticked. He's a versatile player. I think from what I've seen and from what I can dissect, he is primarily a defensive midfielder, but could also potentially do a job as a centre-half and could also play as like a natural central midfielder alongside the likes of Alex Gilby and Albie Morgan, who are, in fact, the only uh, midfielders that we've got at the club at the moment that can play in the central position. But Dobson, I think, is primarily a defensive midfielder, which is a position that we've needed. And he fits our plan and he fits our ambition here. So for me, he ticks all the boxes. And I do really like this deal. And I think it is a very, very good bit of business. And obviously to get him on a free deal and from a promotion rival is obviously a great bonus. I have seen on social media, you know, that some Charlton fans have had a little bit of a whinge, you know, the fact that we've signed only two free agents and we've bought one player. You do have to sit there and say that the two players we've signed on a free transfer, Craig McGillivray and now George Dobson, are positive ones and they are very, very good ones. I mean, for starters, McGillivray, arguably the best keeper in the league. And then Dobson, a young player, which is exactly what we want. For once, we've signed the midfielder that isn't 32. He's 23, still young, versatile, fits our plan, fits our ambition, previous captain at a League One team and a lot of experience in League One. So for me, he ticks all of our boxes and I think he is a great signing. And it is also worth mentioning that Dobson had 12 months left on his contract at Sunderland. So had that contract not been terminated by Sunderland, Sunderland, we would have had to pay a fee for it. So I see this as an absolute win. I think it is a great bit of business, the fact that we've brought him in. It comes in as our second defensive midfielder, obviously, Ben Watson being the other one. And even then, that is a benefit as well. You know, there is a benefit there of having Ben Watson at our club because obviously he's vastly experienced, obviously age, what is he, 34, 35. So he can offer a lot of advice and a lot of experience to a player like Dobson. For me, I think this deal is perfect for us. I think it is absolutely perfect. And I think we've done really, really well here. It ticks all of our boxes. He matches our plan and ambition. And I like this deal a lot. And I couldn't be happier. Now, with Dobson coming in as our third signing, he, of course, does fill out the defensive midfielder position. We've obviously got him and we've got Ben Watson. But we are still, as I've said in previous videos, far from done. I do think we need a couple more midfielders to come in through the door. I do expect Dobson to be the more defensive-minded player of the midfield. It, obviously, we don't know what formation we're going to be playing. We don't know if it's going to be a 4-4-2. We don't know if it's going to be a 4-3-3. We have no idea. It's obviously up to Adkins. But I do think Dobson will be a more defensive-minded midfielder, and we could definitely do with a couple of more central midfield players. So, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, can you possibly leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and turn on those post notifications so you're notified of when I post. Welcome to Charlton Athletic, George Dobson. I hope you like it here. What do you guys think about the signing? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. As ever, guys, it is greatly appreciated. This has been Tyler Ronaldson. Have a nice day, and I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you all then.